Hi, my name's John Hood and I'm a tax partner with More Keats & Smith and specialise in tax dispute resolution. Today I want to give you a brief overview on Code of Practice 8 investigations by HMRC. Often HMRC receives information which uh, means that they consider there may be a risk tax has not been paid over. Now, Code of Practice 8 is used for cases where there are complex tax matters that need to be addressed. Often this may be for someone who uh, may not even be registered for filing tax returns, but nonetheless, HMRC consider that there may have been tax lost. Code of Practice 8 works in an informal way. HMRC invites the recipient to have a meeting to discuss their concerns, the risks that they've identified. Now, that meeting doesn't have to be with just the uh, individual in receive the letter. Obviously, you can appoint an advisor to attend or for the advisor to represent you at the meeting uh, to consider what the issues are and see uh, what's the best way of resolving the issues. One of the things to always remember is getting the right advice at the right time. These issues can be often addressed very quickly and simply, but it can easily go wrong if you don't get the right advice. Now, the types of issues that we have to deal with are often individuals who are relatively wealthy or affluent who can invest monies which could generate tax liabilities uh, from HMRC's perspective. They use uh, their data mining software to identify risks so they might not be aware that uh, or someone might not be filing tax returns but nonetheless HMRC may uh, gather information which they suggest, uh, consider and suggest that there may have been tax lost. Now HMRC does have formal powers which they can use so if you don't respond to a letter under Code of Practice 8, HMRC can start their own investigation, assessments of the tax that they consider is due, uh, they have information powers which allow them to recover the necessary information to deal with the um, inquiry and they also have the power to raise uh, penalty determinations. So depending on what kind of behaviour they believe has led to the uh, tax that's been lost, they can charge penalties up to 100%. So cooperating with HMRC is key in these types of inquiries and they often cover issues such as people's resident status, their domicile, i.e. where they consider to be their home, uh, money that's been brought into the UK, uh, complex uh, financial arrangements or investments, uh, or it could be simply just due to the fact that the, the individual is wealthy and HMRC simply just do not understand uh, how they've been able to afford uh, particular investments or information has been passed to them by uh, another jurisdiction through their automatic exchange of information powers which they wish to investigate further. All of these issues can easily be addressed and the best thing to do is to get specialist advice, ascertain what the, the issues at the crux of the matter are and ensure that you cooperate with HMRC to get them resolved as quickly as possible. Now that this doesn't mean that you should volunteer information, the issues have to be considered and addressed but you have to cooperate but not volunteer. This is a really key important thing to do. Now, we can help, we can assist you in representing HMRC so that you don't have to do that. We act as an umbrella and protect you from HMRC in these types of scenario. Um, we would have the meeting with HMRC, we'd identify what the issues are and hopefully resolve this matter as quickly and efficiently as possible. Ultimately, to make sure that your exposure is kept to a minimum. So thanks a lot for listening and I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.